Hi there lovely people, it is Michel here, content creator at Rapper. Today we will be creating a coloring book. Why would you create a coloring book using Rapper? First of all, because it is great fun to create your own coloring book. It's fun to create even one single page, printed at home using any regular printer. But did you know that you could be making money today by selling your uniquely designed coloring books? Let's now start creating our coloring book in 7 simple steps. Step 1. Decide about the size and aspect ratio. The most default size in the US is letter format, which is 216 by 279 mm at 300 dpi. In Europe, A4 is a frequently used format, for which the recommended settings are 210 by 297 mm at 300 dpi. However, it is possible to pick any size. You could design a horizontal, vertical or square book. Please know that most coloring books don't have edge-to-edge -edge prints, but have the image surrounded by a border and some white space around it. Step 2. Download source images or create your own. For the examples today, we have made some source images, which you could download for free by clicking the link in the description below. These images have been created by throwing together some shapes in Photoshop. You could easily create similar images yourself by using any image editing software. Even by drawing some lines or shapes in good old Microsoft Paint, you could create some images which would do the job. Another suggestion we have is going to pixabay.com. Hit search and try search terms like line drawing or coloring book and download the images for free. Step 3. Creating your patterns. Import your images into Wrapper. Play around with the tiling, selection area, zoom size and rotation. You could even work with some effects like metamorphosis. Some general tips. Design directly on the right surface size so you'll see the thickness of the black lines which will change depending on the repeat count and chosen tiling. Make sure the bits to color in have a reasonable size that they are not too big and not too small either. Highlighting the effects of rotation to break the straightness when using tilings with strong vertical and horizontal axes. A simple pattern with high repeat gives a more repetitive and meditative coloring experience, whilst a complex pattern with less repeats is more challenging, interesting and engaging. Keep playing around until you feel satisfied. Step 4. Exporting your pattern. Export at the desired size and aspect ratio. For high quality prints, we always recommend you to export at 300 dpi. Step 5. Customization. Would you like to customize your patterns? Of course you could use Adobe Photoshop or any freeware such as photop.com or gimp.org. You could add borders. A common option would be to add a thick white border followed by a black outline. Play around with the thickness of both until you find something that matches your style. Step 6. Putting together the coloring book. Most services require your book to be delivered in .pdf format. You could put your book together by using Adobe InDesign. But today we'll show you a way to do it with a free tool called Canva. Go to canva.com. Go to create and hit custom. Fill in the size you need. For today's example I will go with A4 format, but you could fill in any custom size. Upload all your image files. Add some text to the front page if you like. Fill out all the pages. 
You can download a .pdf by going to File and hit Download. Pick .pdf print and hit Download. Your file is now ready for publishing. Step 7. Publishing. Search for a publisher or print-on-demand service which best suits your needs. Some suggestions you could look into are lulu.com, kablam.com or kdp.amazon.com. However, we recommend you to do your own research online and compare different services. Upload your file and follow the steps on the website you've chosen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the little bell icon. Are there any topics you'd like us to make a video about in the future? Then please leave a message in the comment section below. Would you like to try it in Rapper yourself? You can do so by visiting rapper.app. I wish you a wonderful day and thanks for watching.